Salut, Philippe. Hi, Cole. Question is for, for you. Um, saw you having a discussion with uh, Sean Burke after practice. And I, I, and I know he's a, a goalie specialist, obviously, but uh, what can a guy like him uh, bring to the table, uh, uh, obviously, in preparing game plans versus different goalies? Um, he just kind of threw out some ideas for me. Um, you know, we talked about, you know, whatever goalie we're facing, um, the different kind of structure that they play and, and how to beat them. So just some ideas he threw at me and, um, you know, look forward to using them tonight. Thanks, Renaud. The next question comes from Chantel McAvee. Thank you very much. Allô, Philippe, ma question est pour toi. Euh, Peter DeBoer en parlait hier à quel point c'est difficile de créer de l'offensive en série éliminatoire et particulièrement dans cette série-là. Euh, Es-tu d'avis avec lui et pourquoi c'est difficile comme ça? Euh, écoute, euh, oui, je suis euh, entièrement d'accord. Je sais pas, c'est le système de jeu qu'on a les deux. Euh, on est euh, solide défensivement, on donne pas beaucoup. On donne des shots, mais euh, souvent de l'extérieur, donc... Euh, je sais pas, c'est une série euh, plus serrée. Plus que ça va avancer, plus ça, ça va être serré. Thanks, Chantel. The next question is from Guillaume Lefrancois. Hi, my question is for Cole. Uh, after, the, after the last game, uh, Robin Leonard uh, sort of uh, said publicly the scouting report uh, saying you would only shoot high or uh, five hole. Uh, were you surprised to hear him uh, say that like this and was that an accurate scouting report or is there more uh, is there more to you um i think that's a good thing that he's thinking about what i'm going to do so i'm um, just kind of taking that in the next game um you know it, it's good that he's kind of opening his mouth um you know you know what he's thinking now so i'm going to kind of go off that and um, create new things to do and, and new things to look at next is john lou question for uh, for both philip and Cole, if I may. Uh, Philip, um, considering what you uh, have been able to do against Toronto, Winnipeg, and now against Vegas, you specifically in the matchups that you're facing, are the goals that you're suppressing as equally as important as goals that you or your line could be scoring? And my question for Cole is that uh, what finer points of the defensive side of the forward position are you learning from Phil? Uh, so I'll start. Uh, I think, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, uh, the nine goal is uh, really important and scoring as well. I don't know. It's just my role in playoffs has been uh, like that so far and playing against big line and make sure they don't score. And uh, obviously uh, trying to score as a line too. But uh, yeah, I take a lot of pride in this and uh, trying to give everything, uh, every chance to win for my team. Yeah, and I think um, going off of what Phil said, what I've learned from him is just, Know how much pride he does take in um, the defensive side of the game. And I think it's equally as important as putting the puck in the net is, is keeping it out. So the detail that he puts in and how hard he works to, to keep the puck out of our net against those great players that he plays against, um, you know, it's something that our team really feeds off of and we create a lot of energy from it. Thanks, John. Next up is Eric Engels. I like that. Um, guys, uh, question for both of you, really. Phil, when you see Brendan getting the type of chances he got last game, Is it just a matter of time before he breaks through? And Cole, what have you learned from Brendan both on and off the ice? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, Gally is only a matter of time. Uh, his, uh, his fire, the score is right there. It's, uh, it's coming. Uh, what I've learned from Gally is that he's a competitor. Um, everything he does on and off the ice, he wants to win and be the best at. So um, anytime you can get one up on that guy, you, you let him know. But um, on the ice, he's a great leader for our team. He does the right things. He competes every shift. And um, again, it feels fire for our team. And um, we, we kind of feed off him. Thanks, Eric. We'll do a few more here. Next question comes from Arpan Basu. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, my question is for Phil. Um, Philippe, y a-tu, évidemment, t'as eu le matchup qui est pas mal serré avec, avec Max, le, le trio de Max pendant toute la série. As-tu pu bénéficier un peu de, de, de la, la connaissance que tu as de, de, du jeu de Max, étant donné que tu étais son centre pendant tellement d'années? Est-ce que ça t'aide dans ta couverture défensive quand, quand, quand tu l'affrontes? Pas vraiment. Écoute, ils jouent avec, euh, ils jouent avec des bons joueurs aussi. Donc, euh, ils, ont, ils ont un style un peu différent, euh, sa ligne en tout cas. Puis, euh, c'est ton excellent passeur. Donc, je ne sais pas. Oui, je le connais. Je sais que c'est un excellent shooter, mais. Euh, je... Je ne peux pas dire que je connais personnellement les, les petits détails pour, 
affect the sagim. And our next question comes from Martin McGuire. Uh, une question pour Philippe. Uh, Philippe, depuis le dernier match, vos opposants ont un, un autre gardien de but, puis on les a sentis jouer un style qui se rapproche plus du vôtre, plus tight défensivement, avec uh, un 2 de 3 qui commence ce soir. Est-ce que vous vous attendez à avoir, entre guillemets, une bête un peu différente devant vous à cause de ce qu'ils ont fait dans le dernier match, puis du nouveau gardien? Euh, bonne question. Je ne sais pas euh, trop comment ils vont sortir, mais nous, on ne veut pas euh, attendre de voir qu ce qu'ils vont faire. Il faut vraiment continuer à jouer notre style, hard. Puis, euh, euh, on va chercher le premier but aussi. Donc, ça va être euh, un gros euh, départ pour notre, euh, notre équipe ce soir. Puis, euh, oui, effectivement, ils se sont rapprochés de notre style de plus en plus. Puis, euh, c'est ce qu'il ce qu faut. Il faut qu'ils se rapprochent de nous et non nous de d'eux. Thanks, Martin. We'll do two more questions. Next up is Stu Cowan. Uh, questions for Phil. Uh, Phil, I know up until recently, Luke Richardson was much more involved with the defense and the forwards. I'm just wondering, what do you like about him as a coach? And also wondering, have you ever watched video of him when he was a player in the NHL on YouTube or anywhere? I didn't watch Luke, but I know he was really tough and uh, he played, put his heart on line every night. Uh, he played so many games in the NHL, so he's really a good model for our team and um, he's a good model on dedication and, you know, like I said, putting his heart on line every night. So, It's uh, it's good to have him have him back there. He's got a lot of experience, even if he uh, if he just started last game. Sounds like uh, he's been coach uh, for a long time, so uh, he's doing a great job for us. Thanks, Stu. Our last question for the guys comes from Ken Campbell. Yeah, this question's for Cole. Uh, Cole, you, you know, you obviously came into the NHL with a reputation as a goal scorer. And I think your, your numbers reflect that, but I'm wondering if, if you think, you know, people may, may not give you enough credit for your playmaking ability. I think of another Wisconsin native by the name of Phil Kessel, who, you know, is a guy who can really score, but is a great passer as well. And I, I'm wondering if people maybe not, don't give you enough credit for your playmaking ability. And I was also wondering, you know, sort of how excited you are about thinking about a future of playing with Nick Suzuki, the way you guys have meshed together so far. Yeah, I think, um, you know, some people kind of put some labels on me early on that uh, I'm just kind of goal scorer, and um, there's a lot more to my game than that. And I think uh, just proving people wrong is something that I'm just going to continue to do. And um, Nick is obviously a great player. He's easy to play with and um, makes a lot of great things happen on the ice, creates time and space for everybody. And um, I'm really excited to get the chance to play with them, you know, hopefully for a long time. So, um, You know, hopefully we can have success moving forward here and um, in this future as well. Thank you for your time, guys.